Hello guys, welcome to our new video today. I just lean welcome you all on Talent Battle once again. And today we have with us uh, Miss Shreya, who has just been placed. And Shreya is a twenty twenty four student uh, who is there with us uh, in our Talent Battle. So Shreya, first of all, I congratulate you. Shreya has been placed in Bristol Cone with the package of uh, four point two five LPA at the associate role. So once again, Shreya, congratulations from the whole team of Talent Battle. Thank you. And uh, we welcome you. And Shreya, this video will be helping to those students, those who are still in process, or might be your juniors, those who are preparing on how to enter into Bristol Cone. And this video will be containing some good uh, content uh, which can help them and mm -hmm. help them to prepare what are do's and don'ts of the company's hiring. So Shreya, uh, please, uh, 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 first of all, introduce yourself so that our audience must know about you. Hello, everyone. I am Shreya Parzurkar. I'm currently a final year student studying in Vidyavadini's College of Engineering and Technology. And I'm a 2024 batch student. Yeah. OK, nice. So you didn't mention like you are placed in which company? Okay, so should I <laughs> say both the companies? Ha, sure. Or just you, one? Uh, no, no, both the companies. You are placed in two companies. So tell the audience uh, for both the companies. And audience like Shreya has been placed in two companies right now. So uh, she'll be sharing the Bristol Cone experience today. And uh, within uh, next few days, we'll be uploading the next video of uh, her second company as well. So yes, Shreya, over to you. Yeah, so uh, I am currently placed in two companies. Both of them were on campus. First one is Bristol Uh For in Bristol uh, I have been applied for associate role. So that was first company, first offer. And the second offer was Nibel Technology. In Nibel Technology, I had applied for a business analyst role, which was 3.5 LPA. Nice, great. Uh, all right, Shia. So let's start with the Bristol Cone experience today. So was it an on-campus drive or off-campus drive? It was an on-campus drive. Okay, nice. So let's start. Uh, so first question to you, Shia, is like how many rounds were there for Bristol Cone? Well, there were three rounds. Uh, first round was uh, aptitude. Second was group discussion. And third was technical technical interview okay okay so for on-campus companies we usually compare uh, the number of uh, like hired candidates to the number of uh, uh, candidates who actually set for the drive okay so if you have any rough idea like how many students set for the first round and what were the like uh, eligibility criteria for the company but there was no eligibility criteria as such as it means there should not be any KT. that was only criteria Okay. And how many students uh, actually set uh, for this drive? So we, our batch basically has forms, IT, EXTC, AIDS, DAC. So in total five branches. So I roughly calculated 350 students. Okay. Okay. Nice. Okay. So let's start a discussion about the first round. That was the aptitude test, right? So yes. like how it was and what was the duration okay. so the aptitude test was of uh, 60 minutes and the number of questions asked were 60 questions okay. so it was basically a game of time management the questions were pretty much means doable it was not hard if one practices uh, aptitude questions online it it they were not difficult but the only difficulty was in time management Okay, so like it was just one minute for one question, right? So yes. you have to be very fast with the answers. Yes. Okay, and uh, was it as divided into subsections as well? No, uh, they were not divided into sub, sub questions. They were coming randomly. Okay. But it basically consisted of quantitative uh, aptitude, reasoning, critical reasoning, and uh, abstract reason okay okay nice 
Great. So it was like fully based on aptitude part. It doesn't contain any kind of computer fundamental questions. Mm -hmm. okay. Basic uh, DBMS questions were asked okay. in that test, but not much. Not much. Okay. Yes. So any kind of important topics that you remember, like that was mostly repeated or the questions which you felt difficult to answer, so I would definitely recommend all the DBMS questions uh, should be well prepared and quantitative was asked more. So quantitative should be done nicely. That That is the part I still struggle sometimes. So that is a must do. Okay. Okay. So it was an elimination round or not? Yes, it was an elimination round. Okay, and were you able to like uh, toggle between the questions? Yes, yes, we were allowed to. Okay, nice. So, how many answers you think like you answered correctly? Uh, I guess it would be forty plus, as nice. far as I know. Okay, and from those uh, approx ratio of three fifty students. How many students you think that uh, cleared the first round? So basically, uh, in the next round, it was group discussion. So mostly 150 plus students had cleared that round. So then the remaining students were divided into group of 15. Okay. So, yeah. so 150 second, students uh, passed the aptitude test. Great. Like it was a nice ratio. Like we can yes. take it as uh, near about 50% of students actually passed the test. Right. Yes. So 40 to 50% of students. So uh, second round, as you mentioned, like it was a group discussion round. And uh, you also mentioned the batch size, right? Like uh, how much students were there in one batch? Yeah, there were 15 students in one batch. Okay. Thank you. Okay, and how it went, like uh, group discussion, what was your topic of group discussion? For me, the topic was, uh, should women be allowed some special rights and laws? That okay. was the topic. Okay. And we were given 15 to 20 minutes to discuss. First, uh, we were asked to uh, tell our opinions about the topic for, individually. A, for a minute. Yeah, individually. Everyone was given a chance to speak. And then the group discussion started. That okay. was about 15 minutes. Okay. Did you get a chance to initiate the topic in the group discussion? Yes, I, I prefer initiating, though it can backfire sometimes. But I love to initiate a topic. So usually I initiate in group discussion. Okay. This time also you initiated the topic or someone else? Yes. Yes, okay. yes I initiated. Great, great. Okay. So, like, uh, since you have uh, cleared two rounds, uh, the first round aptitude test and the second round of group discussion. So, what are your advices uh, for the students, those who are watching this video? So, what should be the key points that they must uh, have in their mind before actually sitting for the aptitude test? Or basically, I want to ask for the group discussion. So, what are the key factors that affect your performance? Okay, so in aptitude, I would say uh, everyone should practice as much questions as possible and they should practice within a time frame. Like you should be able to complete the question, answer the question in a minute because that is what the test is about. And for group discussions, I would say uh, group, discuss the group discussions are not basically how much a person speaks. Even if you speak a sent one sentence, but it should have an impact that that one sentence would be enough for you. That is my opinion. And uh, second thing I would say, in a group discussion, uh, I usually prefer listening also. Like every group member should be valued enough. You should listen everyone. And then you should present your points. This is something which is not mentioned everywhere, which I call nice. in group discussion. Hmm. Listening and uh, like speaking and keeping your topic is most important. If you do not yes. listen, how can you put up your ideas related to the situation, right? Yes. Also, if uh, one person is about to talk and uh, some other uh, people are dist disturbing that person, 
So if I get that opportunity, first I'll uh, speak up my point and then I would give the other person also a chance to speak. That also uh, shows skills of like you are valuing every people in the group. Nice. All right. So uh, from uh, like 150 students, how many cleared this group discussion round? And was it an elimination round or not? Yes, yes, it was an uh, elimination round. Like from my group, Two, uh, three people were selected for, for technical round. So around like 30 to 40 students only went for interviews. Okay, okay. Okay, so third round, uh, like it was the interview round. So what kind of interview it was? Like was it, an technic was it a technical or HR or a mixture of both? It was a mixture of both, but uh, I would say technical was more than that. Okay. So what kind of questions were asked? And first of all, just let us know the duration of the interview. Like for how long your interview went. Okay. So the group, uh, after the group discussion, on the same day the interviews were scheduled, there was no gap. So everything just uh, went in one day only. It was not a long drive. So uh, in interviews, basically first uh, common question is introduce yourself. So I introduced myself, then the uh, ma'am uh, scanned my uh, res resume and she asked me questions on my resume only, like everything which I have mentioned in the smallest part, like what, what extracurricular activities I do or what projects I have, projects I have worked on, everything. So basically, it was more on the resume part, and uh, it went on technical in the projects part. Like if I have if I have done a project on AIML, so questions on web development and AIML were asked. Okay, okay. So you you have made the projects on AI and ML. Yes, and web development. Okay, so all the questions were related to your projects only. No, not everything. Uh, SQL is a major thing. Like I have observed it. Every company basically uh, wants uh, the candidates to know SQL well. SQL as in any database. Well. Nice. So SQL also, that was also asked. Mm, sure. Uh, so like if you are, a, uh, they also ask the questions on your projects and also like whichever technologies you might have mentioned in your resume. Right. Yes. Yes. Hmm. Yes. Other reason can be like uh of companies. Uh, the reason is like what are they demanding? What is what uh, on what job role they are like taking that interview? Yeah. Okay. So any direct questions that you remember which were asked in the interview? Uh, as in uh, I was asked way, uh, way more on web development like um. If you click, means if uh, you are clicking a button, so in what part does it come like? Is it in in the uh, MVC module, in the MVC model? What does it mean in M MVC model? So I had to give answer to them. So then the other questions were SQL queries. Then uh, some questions were asked on AI and like, uh, how do you collect a data set and what kind of data set have you used? What are what uh, libraries you have used for your projects and how do you do it? Then other than I had also mentioned about freelancing in my resume. Okay. So uh, questions about freelancing and everything about it were also asked. Okay. So any any HR questions which you remember? Yes, yes. So I was basically given a scenario as in a uh, recession is going on. So I was asked a question like if another company uh, gives you some more package, would you still join our company? So that was a very tricky question and I had to give an answer which would uh, give me this role. So I guess I did it well. So what was your answer? Yeah, definitely I would join this company because uh, Bristol has uh, many international clients and it is a good company to have my, have a start to my career. 
So I would definitely join in this. Okay. This was my answer. Nice. You answered it very nicely. Uh, so any like this was the out of the box question or there were any other questions as well which which do you think like it was out of the box or which was critical for you to answer uh, no this this one question was asked in the end so i basically somewhat uh, was not prepared for this question but uh, i still managed to give an answer to this right nice. okay so any any suggestion uh, like now for the interview interview part to your uh, juniors you want to give okay so i would say if you don't know answer to a question don't lie like uh, you should always say what is in your mind as in not anything but you should say how your mindset is working on that particular question but if you don't know answer it is better to uh, say like I don't know this concept and I'll work hard on this. Mm. So uh, the interview the interview will also help the candidates like, okay, so you are wrong in this part and they basically help the candidates. Uh, if we are very, uh, like, if we don't lie over there. This mm. is one uh, tip I would give for interviews. Mm. And yes. be confident, like, yeah, be confident, uh, don't get nervous. And like uh, when it was my first interview, I was quite nervous. And then uh, I went blank for a minute. So uh, be natural. They are uh, there to hire you. They are not going to reject you if you show your right skills. Correct. Correct. Uh, yes. So being truthful, being confident uh, can help you, right? Yes. Nice. So, okay, Shreya. So... My last question to you is, did you get any kind of feedback or uh, as you mentioned, like the interview was helping you or any kind of feedback or any type of question? Like at the end, most of the interviewers, uh, they ask a famous question, like any questions for them. So was it yes. in your case as well? Yeah, I prefer asking questions at the end of the interview because it, uh, it indicates that you are genuinely having an interest in the company. So, uh, and another thing I do before an interview is to know who is taking my interview. So I was, uh, so I was, I was having an idea who is going to take the interview. So I basically searched her online and uh, saw her tech stack and it, her interests. And then I asked her journey, like, uh, how how did you happen to join Drizzle Phone? How is your experience in the company? So this is one thing I do and one thing I asked in at the end of the interview. So she, uh, the interviewer pretty well uh, told me everything. And she also mentioned that uh, you have good communication skills and uh, you need proper, uh, I mean, I mean, proper training, then you would be good to do. So that was something good at the end of the interview to hear. And it was a nice experience altogether. Of course, that's a good question you asked. Like, this is a very unique question I have ever listened from the students, uh, like from your batch. This was a very, like, a mature level question. So you searched her, like, huh, usually people get the, like, their mail ID whenever you have a meeting link. You can get out their name, right? And you can search them on various uh, online websites. So it's good to uh, have the knowledge of that thing as well. Otherwise, like students basically you know, keep the knowledge of the company because they might ask you like why you want to join the bristle cone or what is so special yes. in bristle cone, right? Yes, they yes. have asked this you as well. Hmm. Yeah. So they asked you as well. Uh, like uh, they mentioned, like uh, if you want to, if you have a chance to, for the highest highest package, then which company you will choose? So uh, these type of questions can only be answered if you have the knowledge of that company, whichever you are sitting for. Yes. Okay, nice. Uh, nice, Rhea. It was very nice experience talking to you and you shared uh, your valuable experience with us. And I hope like your experience helped the, uh, the people listening to us today. And uh, this would help them on knowing how the hiring process is carried forward by Bristlecone.
So at last, I would like to ask you and to share your experience with talent battle. And first of all, I would ask you like this was the last round. After that, you received your offer letter. Uh, after that, uh, we had a connect with the officials. Like they uh, welcomed us in the company. Like they explained what would be the uh, joining date and everything. Their uh, personal things, which I think I should not say it over here. And uh, uh, yeah, I have got letter of intent. The offer letter is still in process because I'm 2024 batch. Huh, sure. So, yes. They might be yes. waiting for your last semester results, right? Yes, so the process is still in, uh, like, it is ongoing. Uh, offer letter is still ongoing. Nice. You will surely get it. Uh, letter of yes. intent shows, like, uh, they have uh, taken you in, right? And offer letter yes. is the dependent. Um, in most cases, they want, the uh, like, uh, NOC or some kind of last semester mark sheets from the college, right? Yes. Nice. Okay. So... Okay, Shreya, anything else you would like to mention here? Uh, yeah, I think everything is covered. But one thing, as you also said, like you should uh, show the company that you are worth hiring. Like, why would a company hire you? You should have that interest and you should uh, like see all their clients, a website, everything about their company. It should be like your first priority while appearing for an interview that shows a keen interest in the company. This is the most important advice I would like to give. Good, good. All right. So any suggestions for your fellow mates? Uh, like you have already mentioned many advices. So any uh, feedback related to the talent battle course which you were in? So and what was your favorite part of the course? Okay. So uh, I uh, basically have watched all the uh, course of aptitude course, all the sessions of aptitude course, and it has really helped me to crack aptitude course. Like the first round is aptitude, and if you don't clear that round, everything else is still a dream. So talent battle has uh, literally helped me in the aptitude course, and without talent battle, it was not possible. So I would recommend everyone to uh, you know, uh, evenings, uh, every now and then we uh, buy uh, some sort of things, but rather than buying anything, it I think it is worth the money. So yeah, I would recommend to I would recommend everyone to have this talent pattern course. Great. Uh, <laughs> Thank you very much, Sriya. Uh, like uh, for appreciating the course material. And the quality content which we are providing is always uh, for your benefit. It, it is always kept uh, so readiness. It's, it, it is kept so actual so that we want also to get uh, and see you placed. So that is the, you are the live example of this thing. So being a 2024, uh, still uh, you are still under like learning process and you have been placed. So it is a very proud moment for us as well. Right. And uh, the the course which you mentioned the aptitude course always like uh the tips and tricks uh, you might have taken from your mentors yeah. that have been helping you okay so uh, once again a very uh a, a very warm uh, wishes from the whole team of talent battle on starting your career uh, with bristle cone and uh, we wish you best of luck for your future and you achieve the heights of success shreya Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks a lot. And uh, uh, the viewers which who were watching the video till the end. So I once again, uh, thank you, you as well uh, for watching the video. And you might have got a very good insight of the company. And uh, for any kind of learning material, for any kind of uh, placement related help or the free, free placement mentorship call, you can always reach out to our YouTube, Instagram, or whatsapp channel so keep learning keep yourself motivated i wish you all a very best of luck thanks again thank you thank you shreya